So I want to open up this little discussion. I'm making some math videos and I wanted to like stop and you know, something that was kind of going through my mind the last couple days and I wanted to make a video on it, but I even wrote some things down to, to script it out. But then I was like, you know what? I just want to kind of real talk with you. Just let you know a couple things that are on my mind and you know, I might forget a couple things. I might add some things on, but I think the whole general conversation is something pretty important to uh, discuss, especially in your classroom um, with your teacher, your parents, your friends, or as you have a teacher, just to kind of reflect on. And the question I was kind of posing myself is why do teachers make students feel stupid? And it's one of those things that we kind of maybe some of us sit back and be like, what, really? That you know, kind of happens? Maybe we're like, yeah, why do you know, um, teachers look like that? And then some of us, especially as teachers, because I, I think for teachers to grow, we've all kind of looked back at that and said, you know, why have we said certain things to different students? Or why have we given them certain looks? Or maybe taught in a different way that, you know, that's the way that the student perceives it. Because I know as a math teacher for me, it's something that I've done, you know, multiple times. I, I mean, I wouldn't say that I do it every day or, you know, certain students, but a lot of times students will say things or their actions will kind of catch you off guard or put you in a mood or set where you know, you're gonna say and handle them that it makes them, that you don't perceive it as that you doing that, but it puts them that feeling that you think that you're uh, making them feel stupid. And so I wanted to sit back and I reflected on you know, things that I say and how I treat students, especially different students. And I really kind of think, you know, why is it that what I say or what I do to different students, it makes them feel stupid? And I kind of just wrote down a little list and like I said, I'm just making, uh, I'm just going through this talk so I might forget a couple things. But when I was thinking about it, one of the things that I think we make kids uh, feel stupid is because, you know, we get mad at them. One thing for teachers, we don't have our rules uh, set in place. We maybe don't um, communicate to the students what we expect. So we think we do, but we really don't truly communicate what we're expecting day in day out for their behaviors and their actions and then when they kind of go against that and they do something else we get upset and we want to make it their fault and we'll say things and do things that's going to make them feel stupid another thing i think is we also same thing is the students maybe won't do their work they don't understand it and sometimes we forget we put ourselves into a behavior where we've been teaching them something for so long that we understand you know the meaning you know say you really understand something once you teach it and that's so true because you know when i was going through high school and now going to teach and i understand things so much more and so now to kind of see the bigger picture and i go to my students and i say you know oh well you didn't do your homework or you didn't do all this you know why aren't you understanding this why aren't you getting it and a lot of times you know it gets frustrating for us as a teacher because we've spent so much time with this stuff but we also a lot of times forget that this stuff's getting you know, fed a lot of times to the students for the first time. And even if they're in something that's remedial, right? And I think this is the one that's the big one. A lot of times teacher makes students feel stupid when they expect students to already know something that they don't know. We say, you know, why don't you know this? You were supposed to learn this last year. You were supposed to learn this in third grade. Circumstances happen. Everything happens for a reason where students maybe never learned it, came from a different school, had a bad teacher, didn't like their other teacher, were, were sick, were, had family, there's all these different reasons that students don't um, perform the way we want them to, but then we expect them to have everything prepared for us, and we know that it's just not. Uh, we know that's just not possible. So a lot of times we react in a negative manner. So it's just one thing I just wanted to put out there to kind of reflect, especially if you're a teacher, to reflect really how you, uh, what you say and what you do, how it affects students, because you know students look at that, and I think the worst feeling that ever a student can have is you know they're making me feel stupid. And I know I've had some students left my classroom that I've said some things or I've gave them a look. Something as small that I didn't even know happened until a couple days later. And then I know that, you know, they took that as something, they took that as derogative um, towards them. I don't want to give off that feeling. And it's something that I just want people to be aware of, especially teachers. And then also for students too, because, you know, open up the communication with your teacher. Let them you know, let them know your feelings and how you're doing. Um, and I think that's gonna just make the profession and the teaching, teaching uh, kind of world a little bit better on its own. So I just wanna throw the video out there. I'm making some videos. I had to stop, put my thoughts out there. And uh, so I hope you uh, comment below on the, on the video and I enjoy you, uh, you watching, thanks.